Hello my beautiful Libras, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a general coffee cup reading and due to the general nature please take what resonates. I already changed my setup by the way. If you liked it let me know and um, I'm offering private reading so you can actually check in the description box if you would like one from me and uh, at the end i'm gonna pull some cards also if you want some clarity you can just stay till the end and see what's coming up for you and we are also heading to forty thousand. and if you would like to be a part of this beautiful soul community you can just go ahead and subscribe it's free you can unsubscribe anytime you want and i truly appreciate it all right guys let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way let's get this one a little closer here okay Wow, this is a very good cup actually this is like you're holding really tightly and when i was closing up at this um all this kismets this good news and the good luck spilled out of it so whatever that you're manifesting it's a very good sign and it's going to be coming in abundance abundance of uh, connections wealth family love all that things that you desire I see the bottom of the cup is very clear. There's somebody who's actually sitting down and meditating. This person has like this like a coney, um, the hat that they're wearing. This can indicate this person's authority. Also a little bit like witty. Uh, can be someone like um, joyful, maybe playful. And also uh, sometimes in some cultures, this is actually represents like wizards, maybe um, like some high position people. This can be you manifesting this, but I see this person also has a mustache or someone wiser that is going to be showing up, maybe even like supporting you, giving you the support that you need or even opening the path for you so can you can move forward. Okay. I see on the bottom also there's an eye. This represents maybe if there's like a negative situation happening currently. Uh, maybe there's like an, some nazar, like a negative energy on you, evil eye on you. If you're feeling that, the best way to get rid of it is just maybe take a salt bath or just ground yourself, step on the earth. And you can even look up like the ways how to ground your energy and get rid of this kind of negativity, okay? And uh, I see a path opening here. This is going to be a path that you're going to be traveling very soon. And at the end, I see there's a crowd waiting for you here, okay? This crowd can be like a group of people, family members, even like they're two, a couple. They look like they're on the screen, by the way. This looks like a movie screen. Uh, maybe you're going to be going to like a theater or some sort of an activity to... Um, this is going to be but work related. There's going to be maybe a class that you're going to be taking and something is going to improve uh, your life. I see a letter C also. This is forming like a maybe a reverse J. And this can be like whatever this is where you travel there. When you get that information, this is going to be very useful for you. I see a man's face here. This man is also wearing a hat and that one here can be the same people or someone else. Um, like you're going to be actually engaging with a lot of higher authorities, which will give you the hand. Okay, which will give you a hand so that you can lift yourself up. I see here an anvil and somebody's actually leaning over it. There's a woman. She has like this big dress, which also indicates her power, her strength. This anvil can be a tool for you to actually uh, forge something for yourself. This can literally can be like a skill set that you're going to be getting or can be like an opportunity to grow your wealth, maybe grow um, your environment, the connections, and which will end up bringing you uh the joy the happiness that you're desiring and especially i feel like strength and authority i see a person appearing here this looks like they're actually their heart is open can be a new romance a new beginning for you and this is going to be coming after a long time of loneliness i see you're like in hermit mode maybe for a long time that you haven't talked to anyone maybe you have been traveling in other countries or just doing your own thing and there's a new person showing up here and this person has a beautiful aura and the darkness is coming to an end when they appear they have i can see their face clearly here they have a big face and this like shapes like shapes like um 
um, crescent moon kind of. So this person can be someone who is actually illuminated or maybe like someone who is very knowledgeable or likes to learn a lot. Also, um, like um, there's a saying in my language, we say it's like their face is, face is like moon, meaning in the like illuminated like moon, like the full moon. So they have a good aura. It just uh, uh, indicates that they have a very good energy. So this person is going to have a very light energy. And when they show up, they're going to bring peace, a lot of peace also. I see there is a horse here. This horse looks like a little bit old though. This can be something and somebody's riding it towards you. This can be like a heart. Your heart's desire is something that you wanted to desire, like you have been desiring for a very long time. And you even like the, the horse got old because uh, this took a while to manifest. Okay, that's why it's like, mm, like this horse is looking old, but they're galloping towards you. It's coming really fast towards you. Okay, I see there's a tree of life planted here that is growing. This might be also connected with this manifestation that you're creating here. Um, that is actually going to be showing up. Maybe they're going to be both showing up together. At the end, I see a huge fish appearing. Fish indicates money. So whatever this is at the end, you're going to be manifesting money. Also, this can be like a gift. Maybe like during the Christmas time, a gift is going to be showing up for you. Unrelated uh, from this desire, this old wish that you have. It can be this... Um, can, like a gift of money, maybe something that is going to bring more wealth into your life. I still feel like wish, like fish usually symbolizes money and wealth. All right, guys, let's get into your plate. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Okay, you can see there's a crowd that you're getting into. Okay. There's this huge crowd. I see a big fish for, like surrounding you. This also even look like a big eye, but you can see this is actually representative of a chunk of money. So chunk of money has a crescent moon inside of it. Crescent moon symbolizes legal success. So this is gonna be something that you have been maybe like applied and waiting for an answer to come. And this is coming really fast. Your desires actually is gonna be flowing into your life really fast. And, um, yeah, but this is mostly related to like um, financial wealth I can see here. There's a legal paper. The, usually on the plate, there's no like this kind of symbol do not show up. But there's a legal paper showing. There's a teardrop. These are gonna be, this is going to be giving you tears of joy. There's someone's face here. This person's face towards your heart. So it can be someone that you actually haven't been seen a long time. Or maybe you have this person in your heart. Maybe there was distance between you. This person is showing back up. There's a second desire showing up here also. At the end, there's a chunk of money. So this will be also happening really fast, okay? I see there's an opening like in your heart. There's an eye also showing. But this doesn't look like an evil eye. This looks like and like somebody's watching over you, protecting you. This can be also someone's face. You can see this is come, becoming a face here. I see another man here with like man or female feminine character. If you're a male watching this and you're interested in female, this can be also a feminine character that's going to be showing up uh, with uh, their heart is like open, showing like they're going to be actually uh, very clear, very open, very honest with you when they arrive in your life. Okay, I even see there's a character forming here that you want to manifest someone and they're gonna be showing up with love, okay? All right, guys, let's get into your cards and let's see what's coming your way. I'm using uh, the Everyday Witches Tarot from Deborah uh, Blake. This uh, is uh, like a licensed Turkish version, but you can, I think, find this on Amazon if you would like the designs. Let me see, okay. Nine of Pentacles, amazing, amazing. Whatever that you're desiring is actually going to be coming into your life one right after another. Nine of Pentacles is actually after you manifest your heart's desire, you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor, labors. You can see that she's actually having the time of her life. And if that's what you have in your heart, whatever it is, it's coming. I have the high priestess here. She actually symbolizes that you are very 
uh, receptive right now, maybe to the higher higher powers or the information, the intuition, and she's very knowledgeable. She knows what she's doing, and um, you're gonna be receiving. Even if you feel like you don't know what to do, you're gonna receive the information that you need, okay? And uh, so you can actually move forward to this beautiful scene that all your ma desires are manifesting. Okay, let's see. Page of Pentacles can be a new love showing up for you. Someone who wants to come towards you with a love offer. Can be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But somebody's going to show up while you are actually manifesting the life that you desire. This person is going to come and they're going to be actually the probably they're gonna they're they admire you a lot they love you a lot and they want to be a part of this wealth and abundance that you have we have here the justice card some legal accomplishment this is actually your card your energy that is act whatever that you're working on or you wanted to manifest is coming to life and just as being served the truth is being revealed everything's working out on your behalf you're going to be in the victorious position this is your card your energy so you're going to manifest this beautiful things that you're desiring let's see what we have from this um meditations and affirmations from deepak chopra i have I'm going to pull one more. We have here the yellow one. This is your solar plex plexus chakra, which indicates the joy and the creativity in your life. And also I have the orange one, which is the sacral chakra. This is also related to your creativity. Maybe there is actually a, you need to um, express that. Okay, let's see. The message is, the first one is, I am at home in my body. It is my heaven, haven and my comfort yes your body has an amazing capacity to correct itself so it depends your joy currently manifesting your joy actually depends on your feeling yourself within your body maybe there are things that you need to like focus on maybe about your body and that's the message mas message coming through i couldn't speak oh my gosh okay and we have the the orange one sacral chakra my spiritual path unfolds when i love myself and follow my heart's desire inside everyone is a place that is intimate alive and full of yearning to obtain what you desire your love and desire much to obtain what you desire your love and desire must match okay huh. okay so like i feel like what the message is here uh, whatever you're desiring, make sure that's what you love. That's what you want. Not maybe when you're growing up, your mother used to tell you that that would be great if you manifested that. Or your father or like somebody said, oh, this is what the happiness is. So, and then you copied that. Sometimes we do that because um, if we grow up in a situation that we don't know how to manifest, how the, what the happiness is. And sometimes even if like the people, they grow up with everything. They don't know what gives them joy and happiness. And they can follow other people's words. And um, this says, okay, the angel card says, rethink, okay? Think again, okay? So if you think that uh, there is a certain thing that you need to do in order to be happy think again and just find what makes you gives you joy okay you truly within your heart i feel like that's the message coming through and if you have a desire that says soon in the near future you can see this beautiful two angels supporting each other this can be support coming your way love coming your way or friendship um, and connections appearing for you okay all right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.